Businesses in Wellington are welcoming the support package. Ico Ico Gift Shop on Cuba Street has seen a sharp decline in foot traffic over the past couple of days. Co-owner Rose Bollinger told our reporter Logan Church she's glad help is now available. I think it's pretty helpful knowing we're going to have some help with our wage subsidies. Um, we were already looking into allocating extra sick leave for staff, so knowing that um, that will be helped with is, is pretty is pretty useful. Yeah, yeah. And how exactly has your business been impacted so far? Um, we've definitely seen a decline since about Friday in trade. I think customers are feeling a little spooked, maybe, and not sure whether to go out or not. So, um, yeah, but only time will tell, really. Yeah. And w- w- what's what's the sort of um, mood along Cuba Street? There are a lot of businesses down here. Are others feeling the same as you? I'd say so. I think people are feeling a little like what's... <laughs> un- it's a bit of an unknown at the moment. I know that, yeah, trade is probably down around... Uh, around the area. I know our dear friend's um, milk, milk crate around the corner have had to close um, with a precinct um, attached uh, to a design store. So, um, yeah, that can't be good. <laughs> yeah. And up the road, Mexican restaurant Viva Mexico Left Bank is empty. Not a single person came for lunch. Its owner, Luis Guajardo, told Logan Church he's worried this is the new norm for his business. It employs six full-time staff and two part-timers. As you can see, it's completely like quiet, dead. Uh, we haven't received a single customer today. Um, nothing much to worry about it yet, because uh, normally in this restaurant, lunch is not really like the the, the busiest time of the day. Uh, hopefully, we get a little bit better during dinner. But yeah, are you, are you worried about it though? Yes, of course, we all are. Um, because it's, well, it's a small restaurant, but at the same time, it's like seven people depending on this. You know, it's, it's not much like, ah, we have a lot of uh, staff or whatever, but they all depend on this restaurant, so we're hoping for the best. Wage subsidies will be available for hard-hit businesses. Employers will be paid $585 per week for full-time staff and $350 for part-time staff. Paul Fuimoano runs Toru Tours, an Auckland tour company. He told our reporter Nita Blake-Person meeting the threshold of a 30% drop in business won't be hard. I guess uh, in actual numbers, we've had a 95% drop in numbers. Uh, Essentially, this could be the last tour uh, of Auckland that we do today. 585 is better than zero. Will it be enough for people to make mortgage repayments and, and is it a yeah. big drop, do you think? Well, it's, um, it, that's, the, that's the million dollar question. So with the house prices at a million dollars in Auckland, um, you know, it's, never, it's not going to be anywhere near enough. Uh, for, if you've got a mortgage free, you, you're going to be able to survive just. <laughs> Possibly if you're really raining all your budgets. So, you know, that, that's that's... Yeah, everybody's situations are going to be totally different. And Fred Andrews turned 65 last year. He will be among the thousands of superannuitants whose winter energy payment was doubled in today's announcement from $700 to $1,400. His income went up significantly last year when he went from the benefit to the super, but he's aware of those who are still struggling. I think the government have done a great job so far, but honestly... My concern is for um, other senior citizens like me, the homeless, and the people who have disability. We are the ones who are going to, going to struggle. It's still not enough, I don't think. My concern is for um, the homeless, the, the people, and, and by homeless I mean the people who are living in overcrowded houses, people who are sleeping on couches because they can't find their own accommodation. They're going to... They're struggling and they're going to continue to struggle like I do. In Auckland, taxi drivers at the airport told our reporter Katie Doyle no tourists meant no certainty. It is affecting a lot, like two fares is like really nothing. And you never know, maybe someone can come and just ask me to go to the IBIS budget hotel. That will be like $20, that's a minimum dollar fare. And I have waited for like four hours or five hours. And out of that, I paid $5 to the airport and I make $50. That's even like... You can assume what's the minimum wage in New Zealand, that's, that's 1770. And even if you pay the rent of uh, the tax after that, you get around maybe 13 to 50 or something. You, so you work for five hours and you get out $15. How has the virus affected your business? 
Oh, you could say just killed it. Because <laughs> there's no certainty in uh, how long you have to wait and what, uh, what happens, you know. Uh, since Sunday, we have seen, uh, you know, we've been waiting for about at least four or five hours before we get a job. And uh, previously, we do at least, uh, from the airport itself, we'll do about four to five jobs in a day. But right now, we're just doing, struggling to do two. We have to wait, wait, wait in a queue in four, three to four hours uh, to get the job, and nobody is coming through the flights. So we are affecting a lot due to this uh, virus. Do you worry um, when people come out and you're taking them to essentially self-isolate? Is that a concern for you? Uh, yes, of course, everybody. Everybody gets discouraged, but everybody has to make some money to fulfil the requirements. Looking at the circumstances that everybody is in, any, any help would be good, you know? But whether that is sufficient is another issue, you know? Mm. It's only the first week, but you are worried, you know, what will happen, you know? how long this continues, because we do need income to, you know, survive and pay all the bills. Mm. You know, the mortgage is the biggest issue I think we all have. Mm. 